Oh, hi Leute! Da sind wir wieder und es geht doch direkt weiter mit der nächsten Runde Thimbleweed Park. Wir sind jetzt bei Teil 4 und äh, zuletzt haben wir erfahren, dass ein Mr. Reyes, eventuell Agent Reyes, der Sicherheitsmann ist, der angeblich die Kissenfabrik abgefackelt hat, wobei es aber eigentlich die KI, bzw. AI war und die Schuld auf diesen Wächter geschoben wurde. Rache? Ich denke mal. Und ansonsten mal schauen, was da noch alles kommt. So. Da sind wir stehen geblieben. Direkt nachdem die beiden Agenten mit dem Bus abgehauen sind. gucken, was jetzt ansteht. Herausfinden, was mit Vater passiert ist. Der ist ein Geist. Dann Schlüssel für die Fabrik holen. Keine Ahnung. Den Anwalt benachrichtigen. Und Staub. Ah, I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment. All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but you, I'm Ransom the Clown. <laughs> It's all that Franklin's fault. He was going to talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech Ransom the Clown license dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. Okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! Okay. Einbrechen, Schlüssel holen, die Seite fehlt immer noch und Staub. Okay. It's my next lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. He definitely screwed me. Brent Bailiwick. Das ist doch der Anwalt, den wir brauchen. Oh, oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never going to hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Ich habe mit Agent Reyes ein Geisterbuch. Es könnte funktionieren mit dem Geisterbuch, das der hat. Ah, wobei, die sind ja weg. Hm. What? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. Okay, there goes for nix. I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed and more than usual with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. Gut, jetzt hat also jeder ein Motiv in die Factory in die Factory zu gehen. Get lawyer to read uncle's will. Wo haben wir funktionierende Telefone? Hotel war eins. 
hinter Villa. Hier waren nur Payphones überall. Geh ich in die Villa. Geht ja fix, dann Quick Travel. Yay! Hi there, this is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today at ThimbleCon 87, handling all cosplay legal issues. <laughs> Stop by my booth. Lawyer in Thimblecon. Ah, wo war Thimblecon? Wo war Thimblecon? Ich hatte irgendwo ein Poster dazu gesehen. Hinter dem Diner war ein Poster. Thimblecon 87. It's being held at the hotel right now. Hotel, okay. Äh. So. It's a revolving door. Da steht der Vater. Blue was never my favorite color. Dolores, it's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. Zumindest konnte er sich jetzt mal ausheulen. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like some tickets for ThimbleCon. I'm sorry. We only have ThimbleCon tickets for K Scumaboo contest winners. You should listen to K Scum on the radio for your chance to win a boo. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice e Hello, Dolores. How, how may I? Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Win tickets. Okay, Case Gum heißt Radiosender. Aber ich habe keine Schlüsselkarte. I wonder what the guest is up to now. It's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney, Brant Balowick. Payment in full for will and reading. Oh, dann halt noch mal in die Villa ans Telefon. Ich weiß nicht, wo noch eins war sonst. Ruf 
einfach mal Case Gum an. K7286. All circuits are busy. Please try again later. All circuits are busy. Please try again later. Okay, da kommen wir nicht durch. Here goes nothing. Okay. Was macht Agent Ray hier? I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your roomie. Not long What? now. Warum sind die beiden in Verkleidung hier? Hä? I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. The hell was get here up? Später. Hab doch so ein scheiß Gedächtnis. Sorry. You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. Okay. Päckchen in der Lobby. All circuits are busy. Please try again later. Hätte sein können. 507 diesmal. Ja. Oh, Agent Reyes. Okay, da ist auch nichts Neues. Warum wackelt das Teil dann? Achso, ja, okay, weil ich ja alles davor durchgemacht habe. Bin ich mal gespannt, was hier kommt. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We send the package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. Alles gleiche, Na, super. Here's your package, Boo. Thank you. Oh, this is just great. Is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act, that's the worst disguise I've ever seen. Then I guess you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Touche. <laughs> What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You first. Oh. Okay. Oh, schwere Entscheidung. Scheiße. Was nehme ich denn? Das ist schon wieder gelogen. Hm. Könnte es der Sohnemann sein?
Okay. I'm here looking to buy a nice house for the family. Bullshit. Okay. Awesome. I'm investigating local corruption. Bullshit. Okay. I suspect Thimbleweed Park is a secret UFO base. Bullshit. Okay. <laughs> Alles locker enttarnt. Gut. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. My father was a security guard there. How old were you? I was only five. Mom says he was always complaining about the faulty logic in the factory machines. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Well... Just here to see if there is an opening on the Thimbleweed Park Police Force. Bullpucky. Well... Bullpucky. Okay. I'm on vacation and stumbled onto the dead body and thought I'd help. Bullpucky. Well... I'm up for promotion and this is the official hazing. Bullpucky. Well... Is paying me for the secrets of the Pillow Factory AI. I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty important. Sounds like we both need to get into the Pillow Factory. For the NSA? Die Aussage Blas hat doch gerade eben noch gesagt, wir brauchen das für irgendwelche Sayonara, Bla, Japsen, äh, Japaner, Geschäftsmänner, irgendwas. Okay. Auf jeden Fall müssen jetzt alle in die Factory, in, in die Firma. Sehr gut. Neues Ziel. Hey, onward. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Ma'am, I have a package of for you. to me I've been waiting for this perfect it's a special tool for a special use it's a very strange looking tool I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game it doesn't seem to fit that I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game oh, man. Fast dasselbe alles, okay. Dann. Yes! It's my father's watch! It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's broken. And only a professional will be able to fix it. Willy's watch repair and Willy is in Knast. Yo. Und Dust. I need to get into the factory to get my prototype doll back. Haben wir doch schon gehört. Beeping Thimblecon. Ach, warte mal, ich bin eh schon hier. Und das Telefon ist dauernd besetzt. I'm not going. I'm not going in there. They did a whole. Half-hour hatchet job call-in special on my last performance. Have I here one speck of this? No. They get done. I'm rein. Also muss es jemand anders machen.
we interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. I've barricaded myself in the studio, playing the same song non-stop until the government fesses up to the vast conspiracy. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Draußen an der Antenne kann ich ihn auf air schalten. Da muss er doch bestimmt irgendwas machen. Die Telefonanlage. It says Philips dangerous device and it has a red button and a speaker on it. I really don't think I should use this. Uh, use yeah. KSCUM's phone system is now out of order. stehen im Zimmer und die Nummer habe ich mir sogar aufgeschrieben 7286 sehr gut We're sorry the number you have dialed is not in Okay das funktioniert nicht noch nicht KSCUM's phone system is now rebooting Hey, Freizeichen. Sehr Hello, gut. caller. You're live on KSCUM. Hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is: The hit song "We Are the World" was a recording of 45 musicians for which charity? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the right answer. Here's your second question. What was Jenny's phone number? 8675309. You got it right. And your mm -hmm. final question. What television event drew an estimated 750 million viewers worldwide? Whoa. war das. Ich glaube, die Hochzeit hat mehr gezogen als die Olympiade. You got it. Yay. Let's see how you did. You got two out of three. Close enough for a win. You win four Thimblecon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Uh, my name. Thank you and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. Oh cool. Tickets gewonnen, ab ins Erdgeschoss. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? 
There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the Case Gumaboo Trivia Contest. What is your name, Abu, please? Ah, yes, here's your name, Abu, on the list. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Thimbleweed Park's second largest nerd and geek convention. Listen to KSCUM to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Second greatest, okay. Photos of the construction of the hotel and past employees. Photos of the construction of the hotel. I don't want to pick that up. Welcome to ThimbleCon 87. Later tonight, ransom the clown look-alike contest. Big prizes. Uh -huh. Listen to KSCUM to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Okay, ich weiß, was Ransom nachher machen muss. Cool. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Yeah, prosper. <laughs> Do you need some cosplay advice? I'm cosplaying an FBI agent investigating the paranormal. Whatever you say. See you later. <laughs> Their comics, D&D manuals, and a priceless and rare text adventure hint guide. No touching. Their comics, D&D manuals, and a priceless and... A new Coke vending machine. I can't push that. A dime a dozen. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Not that I care, but how much are the hint guides? The Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide is priceless. Just sell your soul and I'll give one to you. It even contains a secret word that will crash your computer due to a bug in the code not caught by the testers. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't read comics. Okay. I don't know what D&D &D is. Okay. Can I trade you something for a hint guide? What do you have to trade? A sarcastic comment? Sorry, that's not worth trading for a Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide. Bye! Hi! Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D &D man- I also have a rare and- can I trade you something for a hint guide? What do you have to trade? A bunch of adventure game red herrings. Sorry, that's not worth trading. Bye! Okay, there's Twitch. It's a character from an upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. Looks like Marvin's cousin, Gary. Figurines are not a distraction I need right now. Figurines are not a distraction I need right now. Teeny tiny spaceships in bottles. <laughs> Starships in bottles! Handmade! How do you make the starship so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? They're up in my room, but I can't even leave this table to get some dinner. How much do your starships cost? More than someone in your pay bracket can afford. But today, we're doing a special deal. If you can answer me this one question, you will get a free starship in a bottle. Can I mind your stand while you get me your tools? You'd need to know a lot about Star Trek to be able to man my booth. 
Did you know that on Impulse Drive, it would take 400,000 years for the Enterprise to cross the galaxy? Or that the Galaxy-class Enterprise is 353.5 meters longer than the Constitution-class Enterprise? So you see, it's perfectly obvious that I can't possibly leave my stand to an ignoramus like you. But if you got me dinner, then maybe I could do something for you? What do you want in exchange for your tools? Well, I'm really craving a hamburger. How about a hot dog? No, definitely not. A hamburger is what I need. Get me a hamburger and I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, potential diner. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. Speichern und dann machen wir doch mal die Quizfrage. Starships in bottles. Handmade. What is the question I need to answer to get a free starship? Warning. You only have one chance to get this right. Which is the best science fiction show ever made? Irgendwie ist Star Trek zu offensichtlich. Aber wenn es ein Star Trek Freak ist. Ach. Star Trek. Congratulations! Okay. You've won a replica of the Starship Isabella. Bye. You will not find better starships. The plaque says it's a tiny replica of the Starship Isabella in a bottle. Hmm. Books on UFOs, animation, and puppies. I can't imagine why I would want to talk to him. <laughs> Ron Gilbert, sehr schön. It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Probably something to do with game design. Hmm, cutting edge computer technology. The developers will get upset if I do more than look at this. I can't imagine a game nerd would have anything I want. Schauen, ob hier noch das Ding. Oh, den sieht man ja fast nicht. Es sollte hier irgendwo das sein, denn das ist echt gemein, weil den sieht man quasi nicht. Apparently, you can win big prizes in the Ransom Lookalike Contest. The actual prizes are listed here in the fine print. He's Cory! And? He's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the lookalike contest! Yeah, so? Get out of here! <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! Gott, sind die schlecht. Nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the ransom lookalike contest. Looks fine to me. Macht nix, bringt nix. It's turned on. Dust. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Lass die mal hier, falls ich auf die Bühne muss damit. Ach, ja. Der ist doch wie geschaffen. Ich kann nicht reach that. Der ist doch wie geschaffen für den Clown Double Contest. Ransom. What are you doing here? 
What's your problem? You! We're trying to make sure all our guests feel comfortable, Abu. With that mouth, Abu, of yours, you'll frighten away our few guests. Leave now. What are you still doing here, Abu? I'm going, I'm going already. Good riddance, Abu. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, it's you. Beep off. <laughs> Is this what you have to do to make money these days? Go away. I quit, so I don't need to deal with you anymore. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare... E I teased a guy to tears over D&D once. Okay. I only read my own comic. Okay. How much of the hint guides? The Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest. If I thought selling my soul could solve the problem, I would have done it a long time ago. It even contains a secret word that will crash your computer due to a bug in the code not caught by the testers. Big deal. How about a trade for the stupid hint guide? What do you have to trade? A first edition Ransom comic book? Wow! A first edition Ransom the Clown comic? After his total meltdown, that's become a collector's item! You almost look like him. Except your costume is pretty crappy. I'll trade you the priceless Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide for it! What a f ripoff! Das Mädchen hat die, die Rotlupe. Gleich kombinieren. Hi, I'm selling com. The big guy in the red spandex might be interested in the Star Trek scripts. Okay. Good. Bye. I don't want to talk to him. Starships in bottles, handmade. What's a grown man doing in a space costume? You, sir, are in the wrong place to ask such a question. I will not listen to such comments, sir. Goodbye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. Starship! Let me do the question to win a free starship. Only one starship in a bottle is given out free per day. Come back tomorrow for another chance. But I won't well be here tomorrow. Not my problem. Okay. Go yourself. You will not find better starships in a box. I don't want to talk to him. Was? Wieso steht hier David Fox? Eben war es noch Ron Gilbert. I can't imagine a game nerd would have anything I want. I have nothing to say to a game. It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Game design, probably. The developers will get upset if I do more than look at this. He's Cory! And? He's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but yeah, so? Get out of here! Huh? <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! Amateurs. Wow! No need to start swearing. And get a better costume! It's like you're not even trying! Ooh, burn! Hmm, I could get my ransom doll made finally! I need my joke book in perfect condition before I enter the contest. <sighs> okay, joke book. Then I have here jetzt erstmal was stehen. Es geht nicht weiter. Die steht jetzt hier auch rum, also das Mädchen. Die Lupe braucht der Clown. Aber erstmal sollte ich jetzt auf die. Ja, was heißt erstmal? Ich muss mit allen auf die Comic Con.
Welcome to ThimbleCon 87. Later tonight, Ransom the Clown Lookalike Contest. Big prizes. Listen to KSCUM to win. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi, Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000, and I didn't see a cent of that money. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. Unless I see proof, I won't believe it. How else can I help you, Dolores? Wir haben doch eine Quittung. Bye. See you later, Dolores. What good is a check stub? It doesn't prove anything. I'd need the actual canceled check as proof. Okay. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics. I've read all these comics. Okay. I have a level 7 wizard. Doug's a good D&D DM. Okay. I love Star Trek. I want to live on the Enterprise. Okay. Goodbye. I'm trying not to be convinced into buying any more figurines. Starships in bottles. Handmade. What do you want in exchange for your tools? Well, I'm really craving a hamburger. How about a hot dog? No. Get me a... Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than... Ugh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. What with him being famous and all. It's a puzzle dependency chart. The secret to adventure game design. The developers will get upset if I do more than look at this. He's Cory! And... And not yet! Get... <laughs> Okay. You. So ransom. Then benutz mal die Sachen. Was zum Notieren. Nicht in den Osten. Da wartet Tod. West. Look around. Nochmal West. Light. Hm. While in a chamber with robots, wo immer die kommt. Debug word fizz scum. Fitz. Script, Utili Script Creation Utility for Manic Mansion und Fitz, keine Ahnung. So, jetzt habe ich Infos, die mir im Moment noch nicht so richtig weiterhelfen. Ah, jetzt geht auch der Agent wieder. Hello, safely first. I think it says Pilo Factory on it. Excuse me, I'm watching you. You can't just take things here. It's a bank. I'm a federal agent and I need to confiscate this key. I don't care who you are. You'll do no such thing on my watch. Are, are, are you coming on to me? I need to keep them on long enough to trace the call. I think I've seen this painting somewhere before. 
Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is this an obscene phone call? It's a promotional bank flyer. Open an account today and get a free toaster. Hello, Safely First Savings. We're all out of toasters. What's with all the heavy breathing and moaning? <laughs> These obscene folk calls are getting annoying. <lacht> okay, die Bank hat offen und die Dolores hat einen Scheckabschnitt, den der Typ nicht mitnehmen will. Also. Dust einsammeln. Und ab zur Bank. Uh, Main Street Sau. Nee. Oh. Pizza, Pizza! You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. What's the deal with the pizza coupon? You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. Okay, but what do I get with it? <laughs> um, a coupon? <sighs> nice costume. Thanks. It protects me from the signals. Do we know each other? Wait a second. You look familiar. <laughs> Weren't we in freshman chem class together? What's your name? Dolores. I know who you are. You're Dolores Edmund. You and your uncle Chuck were working on mind control Ray to remove our free will before he died. What? Don't play dumb with me. I know you put bugs in our pillows. You'll never take me alive. <laughs> Drop by our secret meeting. Don't touch the electric fence. Okay. 80, 81, 95 ist notiert. Movitron Gutschein. Ah. Multi-Use Flyer. Code und Gutschein. Und direkt von da. We interrupt our hostile takeover. Non-stop music with this important. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? Eh, it's not too bad. Long hours, low pay, boss is a jerk. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. See, sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers till they're gone. I changed my mind. I'm not hungry. Later, Dolores. Okay, dann muss ich gucken, wie ich an den Hamburger dran komme. Aber jetzt erstmal zur Bank. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in. Be with you in a moment, Miss Edmund. Is this an obscene phone? These obscene phone calls are getting annoying. Yes, how can I help you, Miss Edmund? Can you help me with this check stub? Oh, yes, this handwriting brings back a flood of memories. Too bad about Mr. Edmund. He was such a wonderful man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, how can I help you? I need a copy of the check that goes with this stub. 
Yes, I believe I kept all of Mr. Edmund's cancelled checks right here. Here it is. Thank you. Hello, safely first It's a copy of the check that Chuck wrote to his attorney, Brant Bailiwick. There's a note at the bottom. Paid in full. All things pertaining to the last will and testament of Chuck Edmund, including reading the will. Extra betont. Gut. Dann ab zur Con. I have a canceled check for you. It clearly says that you were paid by Uncle Chuck to read the will. That it does. My apologies. I'll go to the mansion mansion right away. Pew, pew, pew. Und hinterher. Bin ich mal gespannt, was da jetzt rumkommt. I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, Thimbleberry Pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. Okay, ich muss die Turm finden. Ein Kuchen, den es nicht mehr gibt. Mangels Bäckerei. Decrypten. Ah, oh, es wird ja immer mehr hier. Hm. nicht mehr angucken und es ist binary. Ich schätze mal. This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Hm. Write a program Computer in ihrem Zimmer. These are my Anne of Green Gables books. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. This isn't working. I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder who they are. <laughs> okay. Graphics Basic, the powerful programming language. Unlock the full potential of your computer with over 100 additional English language commands. Now beginning programmers can create complex graphics, animation, and music without being a machine language programming expert. Sounds perfect. <laughs> My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. Done. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. <lacht> Viertelstunde nur, okay. Okay, hexadezimal. Das war ich wahrscheinlich meine Asketext-Chart. Hm. I'm sure I converted the. Ah. Scheiße, Dialog abgebrochen. Bye. 
Mission. Okay, das ist noch vor Basics, sehr gut. That doesn't seem to work. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a So, nochmal und diesmal Text anhören. Mann, Mann, Mann. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. Irgendwas im Gedächtnis, dass da was mit der Lucky Number war. Hm. Ah. Wie schön wäre jetzt ein Full Text Search. It's a can of poopsie. was in der Zeitung drin. Da stand in der Zeitung was drin, das er gewonnen hat. Wonderful 101 is Chuck's lucky number. Okay. Let's see. I decoded it from binary and got a bunch of hex numbers. Knowing Uncle Chuck, he would have encrypted the will using the unbreakable exclusive or and using his lucky number as the key. Okay, here goes. Da 101, greater than 100. Äh, ungerade. Endet mit einer 1. Startet mit einer ungeraden 1. Mit einer Eins. The rest of the bits are irrelevant to cryptography. I'll just bitwise and them away. I did it. Okay, es hat 99% geklappt. 0. Das ist fast eine 1. 
I, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this my last will and testament, revoking any and all wills previously made by me. I declare that I am making this last will and testament of my own will, being under no threat of coercion or duress of no other human being. I am of free mind and body. I declare that I have no children, natural or adopted. I have a single brother, Franklin, and he has two offspring, Lenore and Dolores. I hereby appoint Brent Bailiwick, JD, as executor of my will and direct the, that he serve without bond. This will is executed under the laws and jurisdiction of Thimbleweed County and all claims and forfeitures will be in accordance with its laws as on the year 1987. It is my desire that the following will be within five days of my death. Irgmas authorized. Okay. I did it! It's totally decoded now. I'll give it back to Mr. Balowick. Done. Just down my... Up runter und das Testament abgeben. Here's the decoded will, Mr. Balowick. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. One of Chuck's three stipulations is now fulfilled. The will is decoded. We still need a thimbleberry pie, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. Ist ja blöd, dass ich das nicht vorher durchlesen konnte. Warum eigentlich nicht? Ist doch Blödsinn. Kuchen gab's als. Have you got everything ready for the reading of the will? I want to get my money and leave this cesspool of a town. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. Natürlich geht alles an Dolores. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. So... Kuchen. Es gibt nur einen Kuchenladen. Street. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. Ricky, you make such great thimbleberry pie. Can I get one? I'm sorry, hon. I'm out of the pie-making biz. Strictly tubes now. Oh, no! I have a problem, then. In order to hear my uncle's will read, I need one of your famous thimbleberry pies. Well, in honor of your Uncle Chuck, I'd make an exception. But there yeah. just aren't any more thimbleberries left. Your uncle had them harvested to extinction. Uh -huh. But, but where were the last ones you know about? It's sad, isn't it? The last thimbleberries were spotted out in the old forest. Not the forest. I always hated it in there. Yes, pretty spooky. No one goes there unless they have to. People have been lost in there for days. Days! And I heard some never make it out alive. It's true. I've heard those stories, too. And then there's the old bear problem. <laughs> so... First thing, you'll need some thimbleberry picking gloves. You know how those thorns can leave you breaking out in welts. I just happen to have an old pair I could loan you. Thanks. Hey, Handschuhe. Uh, okay. Ich muss in den Wald.
Das zählt wohl nicht als Wald. Hier ist nichts. Hm, bleibt nur das. das und warum läuft er da lang? Und warum ist das? Oh oh. Thimbleberries. It's a thimbleberry bush full of berries. Long minutes. It's a cup of delicious, freshly picked thimbleberries. Oh, das war ja einfach. Dann lassen wir uns doch den Kuchen backen. Sehr geil. Ricky kriegt's gebacken. <lacht> okay, der war schlecht. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? I have the thimbleberries. Can you please make me the pie? You found them. Good for you. And no welts. I was very careful. And also, your gloves. Won't be needing them now. Thank you. I'll go make it now. Won't be a jiffy. <lacht> Baut die ein Haus? Die sollen Kuchen machen, verdammt. Here's your thimbleberry pie. Exactly how Chuck liked it. Thank you. Perfekt, dann haben wir einen wunderschönen, leckeren Kuchen. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. Pie. Whoever invented the pie? Here was a great person. <lacht> Gieriges Stück. Und dann kriege ich auch Hunger auf Kuchen. So. Gleich dem Anwalt in die Hand drücken. Und danach gibt es eine kurze Pause, bevor wir mit der Gruft weitersuchen. Von ja, schätzungsweise 10 Minuten. Mr. Balowick, here's the freshly baked thimbleberry pie. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. The final one is to read the will in your Uncle Chuck's opulent tomb. I'll meet you there. Well, my family will wait right here until you've opened the tomb, Dolores. Hurry along. We don't have all evening. Poor Chuck, he needs his sleep. So, ich habe jetzt noch keine Ahnung, wo man die Gruft findet. Diggin! Was? Friedhof? Wieso habe ich das vorher nie gesehen? Hier ist ein Friedhof, verdammt. Klick. Boah, kann die rennen. Ach, ja, doch, stimmt, da war ich schon mal. Friedhof ist gut, da gibt es definitiv eine Gruft. Perspektivenwechsel sind sehr cool gemacht. Vorne rein, hinten raus, Distanz überwunden. Das ist echt schön anzusehen. The heavy wrought iron gate is closed. I see a switch inside. Ah, okay, das war jetzt das, wo ich irgendwas zum reinstecken oder stechen brauche oder so.
The heavy wrought iron gate is closed. I see a sweet flowers left over from a funeral. Flowers left over from a funeral. Flowers left over from a funeral. Oh god. A flower from the cemetery. Konnten wir ja mitnehmen, keiner glaubt. Okay, auf jeden Fall wird jetzt gespeichert. Und dann gibt es eine. Was? Nicht mehr Safe Slots? Ah. Okay. Es wird gespeichert und es geht zurück raus aus dem Spiel und in 